All right, welcome. We have another storybook brawl. Got one of my favorite. I like this one, the Fates or Princes and Princesses. It's probably my favorite, the Royals. Um, I just understand it better. I understand where I need to go. I have done some pivots. I generally can do get into the top four. I just got eighth place. I went down currently 78.64. I'm at 3,037. I do have 44 wins, so that's not terrible. Um, I do have plenty. I have enough to do three, so if I am playing and I need to buy a, a brawler, I can. So, here's a, a good prince to start with. I'm not going to use that spell, so I'll just take it. I'll probably take a loss in this first round and hopefully get uh, Cinderella or um, the Archer Princess, what's her name, um, to flip that dude. So yeah, this is still in beta. I'm on point six three point four. Um, I'm enjoying this game. This is my first real like auto battler um, that I've I've played. I played Hearthstone a little bit. I'm a primarily Magic the Gathering player, um, but Magic is kind of lost it's a little bit of its appeal currently right now. Um, I'm gonna take this and then I'm just gonna spin and roll and I'm good. I'm gonna lock just to take the bird, because basically it's free. Buy it for one, sell it for two. See if I get a good spell on maybe a princess. Probably gonna lose this round. It's okay. I'm still at 40, so losing one round. Not too big of a deal. So let's see if anybody is in. We have no skip in, in the lobby. So. Yeah, gonna lose this round. But hey, it's not gonna get a slate trigger. So it's out too weak. Nice. Alright, now. So I'm gonna buy and then I'm not gonna I'm gonna go ahead and spin. Maybe I'll get lucky and take a win. Um I doubt it, but you know, maybe. I'm not gonna worry about Princes and princesses, you can't really go dwarfs, so not really an option right now. And of course, I'm going against number one, Horde King. Hopefully, he doesn't have a treasure yet. If they do, yeah. But that was a decent round. I mean, I'm really setting up to buy quite a few good princes and princesses. Um, I've noticed this specific hero, you, you can lose quite a few to begin with, because like once you get Cinderella, you're trying to cast spells every single round. Um, what that do? Oh, wow. Level 5 treasure. It's going to be dude's going to be very difficult. So like right here, now this should flip both my dudes. Boom, boom. Nice. So my board just got much, much better. Um, I'll go ahead and cast this spell. Uh, yeah. And then I'm going to spin it and see if I get another prince or princess. Nothing. Um, do I want to sell and go for pig? I'm, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that pig. So I'm going to sell this. Pick the pig up. Put him in the last spot. And go here, 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 and here. Something like that. Because every time prize pig survives a brawl, plus two gold, and if he dies, um, I give the opponent one gold. But getting this on turn three is really setting up for good economy. Like, I can just roll through. I can do some spins to try to get some of these princes and princesses. Having two of these five fives early is pretty good. Of course, getting matched up against dwarves, not great. So, kind of how, kind of how it rolls. That's okay. We're still okay. And then no prince or princess is delayed. And then an evil spell. So nothing I can do with that one. Now here's two prince and princesses. Plus a max whistle. And I should have enough to do all of them. So I should do this. Sell this. Buy this. I'm going to put this in spot one. Spot two. This next here, right here, and let's go.
go ahead and max wizzle my princess, because it still counts, and she'll turn into something that's better. Trigger a slay ability on one of your other characters. I have no slay abilities. So it's just going to be a 5-1. So I'm going to put that here. Not going to matter. And hopefully we can actually maybe get an over trigger. Um, this is a relatively new character. I haven't been playing with much. Add a random character to your hand. I mean, luckily like me, I have an empty board slot, so I would definitely take an extra character just to fill in. I am going against one of the lower ranks, so hopefully maybe they're missing a spot like me. And of course, no slay trigger. And I'm going to get wrecked this whole match. Yep. And nothing. Getting wrecked. This is not a great princess. It's really not. You never want a triplet. I'm not, I don't want you want a cat take that spell, so I'm just going to stay. Now this is good, both of these are good, but then I can't. This gives me two spells, so I for sure want this, because I need the buffs. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to spend this, and maybe I'll get this dude for cheap. Now all these are going to level. I'm going to go with the one health after each draw, and I didn't get, like, this is a super good, especially when you get a target. I could sell the pig and put a 210 in. Put him in slot number two. Big nice fat. I think that's what I need to do. So I, I I can't can't take too much more damage. So I'm gonna put this right here. 413. I'm in a much better shape now than I was. So we'll see. And now like I'm looking to I'm looking to put a spell on this to to, to wake it up. Looking for Juliet for Romeo. Good, no slay trigger. Nice, I got a slay trigger. I'm gonna take out Juliet, that's fine. I think we should be okay for this round. Yeah, we're good. Nice. And we will get an extra random character to our hand. So, ooh, yay, look, we got that, which is worth nothing. So. And none of these are really good when we're going Prince or Princesses. I do, you know, Medusa is super good. Um, if we were super low in health, that's where I was looking at. So we got two. I'm probably going to take the questing one. I'm going to take them both, actually. And then I'm still looking for a spell to cast on this dude. So I only have one. Won't give me the spell. I could sell here. Here. That could be worth it. I don't really want I can sell here. Uh, I'm gonna lock and then I'm gonna fix my it's like I want this here. I want this back here. All those can stay the same. Now it's in five. I can I don't want to sell this. This is about to triple. I could sell this. Go one, two, three that up. Yeah. Turn that into a 16, 17 is pretty good. Oh, 14, 14 is pretty good. Spread out the stats a little bit. That reduce is going to be a problem. Yep, going to take out. Oh, nice. Draw. Sometimes a draw is what you need. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this. Yes, it's not a prince or a princess, but all princes and princesses are good. So that good buff is super important. Nice. Triple. And then I have a spot to fill. Um I'm gonna do raw stats. And then I will go ahead and take dude, dude up there. Not, not really looking at buying that one. 
that. I think I should spin. There we go, that's a good one, and that's a good spell. So we'll hold on to this, buy this, cast a spell on it, move one of these to the back, off the back row. We're doing okay. I mean, we're level four, everybody else is level four. We are low in life-ish. So, after each spell we do gain one life, so that's not bad. That sucks. All right, so I'm gonna cast this. I'm gonna bring this out, and I will go ahead and I kind of want to cast it on this. This is still a 513. Cast it on this just so I can slay some. I really need to get that quest going. We're gonna do that. This is super good um, with princes and princesses, so I might go this route and then spin and then take out the plus two plus three. We'll see. Oh, two. Yeah, because I can do this and this, put this in, level everything. Yeah, I'm gonna be down one dude, but. Either does this. We'll put this up here. So we got we got to sneak through this one, being down short. But having that triple makes everything just beefier and buffier. Now I wish I would have cast that on the princess, but. Are they as thick as me? Eh, it doesn't look to be. I might be okay. Hang on. Attacks. Yeah, we're good. Stop by with just. The court wizard does work. I've had good luck with it. Alright, now I, I want both of these, so that's eight. This one and this one. So now this needs to go in the back. This goes in the front. Alright, put that there. So we just upgraded. And I'm gonna go ahead and should I mask gray ball or just spin? I think I'm just gonna spin. Yeah, because that's good, because I want I'm just going to hold here. I'm going to take the spell, because this will level this next turn, and I'll have this to place in, so should be good. This is also very good with princes and princesses, fairy godmother. Um, so, I have to decide if I want to go ahead and get rid of the court wizard, and go fairy godmother, since they're all good, and they all buff when one of your good characters die, give your good characters plus two health this ball. Or when one of your prince or princess is attacked and killed, I make a bonus attack. So essentially that's three or four bonuses attacks if it's alive. And five damage ranged, you know, un unassisted. It's pretty good. You know, triple slay bonus there. Got 
got Juliet to pop out. We're okay. Um, and none of these are any good. And that's the only one that's decent. I think I'll confirm that and I'll get rid of this. And then I will place this. And then I can really go up to like a spell build. monsters, so that spell's not going to do any good. So this is good. And I'm going to pop that. Transform. Character. Ramp. Character. One level higher. So I don't want to use that right now. So I can save it and then buy a five and gamble for a six. will replace itself. Okay, so, oh, I should have bought that too. Shoot, just keep thinking. Oh, here's the dwarf dude. Just gotta kill that triply. Juliet. So I'm going to buy the five and eat it and go for a six. For 29.9, that's nothing to stop at. Devour our character gains your gold. Yeah, that's, not, that's not what I want. I ain't about that life. Two or less. Direct in the character. Alright, there we go. So, we're going to end up doing both, but, so it doesn't matter. We'll go here, we'll lock, I, think I can't, I can't buy the other one, so, and then we can save, have it come in, and we'll get a six and a five for sure. 29.29. I'll get buffed. The only one that's not getting buffed, like I'm half tempted to. Oh my god, I'm going against one of the bottom ones, so I'm half tempted to like just put this in instead of the mage. five. Knock them out. Alright, so we're going to buy this. We're going to go ahead and transform. Yes, that's what we want right there. Beautiful. So, I think we're for sure going to buy it. I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm going to buy this. And I think the court wizard is going to go for now. That spot one. I want that. And I put both these in. All these are upgraded. And they're still 1616. If I end up like tripling that, I want to triple Juliet next. That's what I want. Alright, so I can triple him right now. Alright, goodbye, Court Wizard. Let's triple him. that. 
that, that in there, and then I'm going to lock in for Lancelot, because Lancelot is very good. Hopefully, yeah, because he'll, one more level and he'll be at, you know, a 25 already, and then he'll automatically get me the treasure loot, so. Let's see what beauty has for me. Oh, going good boy, huh? All good things. Looking pretty good. No, did not get the prop, though. Good, Medusa's is dead. He's gonna be close. No, oh, he's gonna get me on that. On that right there. Well, actually, we'll do the same. Draw. Okay. So this is gonna come in. I do like the Raven spell one. Alright, so upgrade, 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 upgrade. I really want this in, but I want I want to get these quests going, so. Should be okay. Um, let's flip these two. We'll just get a good first attack. It should attack, and then this will just survive damage. So. Ouch. Rocks, but I don't think I'm gonna make it out of this match. It's a good, good treant build. I have 17 lives, so okay. yeah, it's gonna be interesting. All right, level six. Your, double your support bonuses. Don't have a support bonus. When you buy a spell, cast it twice. Maybe double the attack carries. If I will, that's probably the one I'm gonna go with. So we're gonna confirm that, and we're gonna get rid of this. He's automatically going to hit. So now we're looking for good spells, essentially. That's a great spell. Take that. Can we lock in for potions, maybe. Spell. Take that. If this will proc, we'll get another treasure. Now I'll be maxed. Oh, I should put King Arthur in the front row. Do one damage to all enemies at the start. So all my stuff is upgraded currently. And we'll do that, and we'll get rid of the.
I still have that many rounds left, so that loses its value. I'm going to cast this spell, for sure. Let's see if I can see anything. Like, do I go ahead and try to buy another? Medusa, super good card. Fourth place, eh. Not good. But I don't know what what really I could have done differently. This this treasure hurt me right here. It's not a great treasure for me. Um, something that would have been more impactful probably would have helped. But decent, decent. I mean, we gained some trophies. So, all right, there you saw. Uh, feel free to comment if you see any changes you, you think you'd make or decisions maybe that I made that, that was wrong. Alright, thanks for watching.